What's going on, everybody? So, continuing, I, I hate to say this, really, continuing with the theme of a lot of breaking that's, that's been happening to shops. We have another one. This happened on uh, November 24th. So, I believe that was right before Thanksgiving or right around Thanksgiving time frame. The part of this, though, I've seen now, like, two or three shops in Texas get hit within this week. And I'm going to try to find the other ones as well to post with this. But this was Alpha Strikes Games. They're out of San Macros, Texas. Addresses right there. This is right off their uh, Facebook business page. They mostly deal with Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. And then board. it says Board Game Headquarters and now carrying Vintage. So let's go scroll this down a little bit here. I don't know if they... Nope, just says Thanksgiving. Okay, so... I think we could play this. We'll see here real quick what happens. May have to resize it. Now nah, we're pretty okay. You guys could kind of see it. But guys, come in. Look at grabbing bags. Grabbing stuff. Look at that. Just throwing stuff into a bag. Now, my question is, with all these break-ins, these guys had to have possibly been in a store before this. I'm wondering if their security cameras run 24-7 to where they could try to match up these guys. Either by, like, height. Maybe they're wearing the same thing. Maybe the same backpack that dude ran around with. You know, something like that to where they could actually catch them. But it looks like they're in and out pretty quick. I'm just going to see how long the video. Oh, we still got a while. Wow. Well, this video is over two minutes long. Look at these guys, man. Just grabbing and going. And I'll show you. The, there was another one, I believe, that was in Texas where a guy threw a boulder through the door window. But I'll have to find that video and stuff on it, and we'll do another one on it this week. I'm um, wondering if they're all related. But I'm not seeing the hammer in this one. Maybe I missed it or something onto it. And there is no volume on this, guys. I already looked. Just craziness. Three of them in there. I mean, they are stuffing that garbage bag full. This is a downright shame. All right, I'm going to pause there because we're pretty much almost done with it. If anybody lives down that way or they uh, shop at this store, stop by, see them and everything. A lot of people on there. Buddy, they must have been in a store before. I mean, we can go through and kind of look at some of the comments here. Looks like they had two cameras out front, somebody says, of that restaurant. Maybe it'll help. And this is the one. It looks like the same people hit the new Braunfels location. So like I said, there's been a few, I think it's three or four different shops within a radius that's been hit. And then up in here, he shows some of the damage here. See what this pulls up, guys. I didn't really click on this video before. Four minutes long. This must be another camera location. Oh, look. You, oh, there it is. Look at that hammer right there. I'm really thinking now, when I show you guys the next video, uh, probably the next day or the day after, look at it so you'll see this hammer again. And I think think this might all be related but let's look at they know what they're going for and it looks like and there's that guy at the backpack so this gives you a little bit of a different camera viewpoint onto it i'll try to skip through a little bit here look at that just beating into something there what's weird is you see all this stuff like snow falling out there i don't know what that is offhand it could be debris from the ceiling coming down dust or whatever 
I know somebody's going to ask if it's snowing in the store. And I'm just fast forwarding. Look at this. They're just pulling him. What's that, vending machine or something? I don't know if anybody's been in this store. It looks like they just could probably got the cops are coming now. Because he just hightailed out of there. All right. I'll flip back here. So there's what the door looks like right there where they broke through it. You can see all the shatteredness. So everybody's going through these doors and just breaking them. Um, you got to remember the glass is not very thick onto these at all. And it, it, to me, it's one of the quickest ways in. And depending on your alarm system, if those local cops are not... 24 7 and it has to get dispatched to another area coming out could be a few till somebody gets out there it's a shame this is continuing to happen and if anybody knows anything of this or you're you're from that area you can get in contact with alpha strike games and i'll give you their info here 512-749-1093 or you can stop by 408 south lbj drive san macros texas uh, their email, alphastrikegames at gmail.com. Maybe we can give a little help. Maybe somebody recognizes something in here. could give them a little bit of a helping hand, some information to the cops and stuff down there, try to catch these guys. But it's just been weird because I caught two other ones this past month, maybe even three. And I don't really cover a lot with the Pokemon stuff, but we're going to start covering it because it's still considered trading cards, and that's pretty much what the channel deals with, trading cards, memorabilia across the board. But we're going to see, maybe you guys could pick stuff out of the videos and stuff like that there. It could help out as well, too. Other than that, guys, sorry to Alpha Strike Games. That, that's just a horrible thing to happen to you. Um, hopefully you guys can catch them. Get them put in jail and stop them from doing future crimes like this. Other than that, guys, I'm out. See you next one.